Hi everyone, it's Kaylee. I'm Jordan. And today we have decided to start making videos together. We both watch YouTube all the time and see all these ideas that we've always wanted to do. And we thought, why not start now? Yeah, why not? I got a big package from home. Well, we did actually, and we waited a long time for it. So why not open it in front of you and see what we've got? Jordan and I both asked his mom for the treats that we've been missing a lot from Scotland. Of course, Jordan is missing treats from there a lot more than me, but we're both super excited to open it. And like he said, we just thought that we would open it in front of you. Um, we actually weighed it because when we got it, it weighed a lot and we wanted to see how much it weighed. So Jordan actually got on our bathroom scales yeah, I did. Yeah. and tell them how much it weighed. 30 pounds. So I feel like that doesn't actually sound like a lot. It's quite heavy. It's quite a heavy box. But so. that's a lot of snacks and yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're going to get started. Um, mm. We both have a cup of tea. Yeah, I think do. that's going to be our little thing with our videos because we love a good cuppa. Anyway, here is the box. You going to open it? Um, you want to try to show them just a little glimpse of it? I will try my <laughs> hardest. Uh, oh, it's quite heavy. <laughs> here. It's a big box. It's a big old box. It's a big chunky box. <laughs> yes, as my um, brother would say, it's yeah. a big chunky boy. So, so we here get? we go. We <laughs> actually, while he's opening it, um, his mom has actually thrown in a couple of surprises. So we're actually really excited to see what those surprises are. So I've got the box open now, and here we go. You excited? Yes. Me too. A lot of this stuff has been cut open by customs, so... Yes, that's the hard part when we yeah. get packages from over there is customs does um, tend to open the boxes and go through it just to make sure everything is safe. Because, I mean, why would you be smuggling anything in tea bags? <laughs> you know? But so anyway, that tea bags. That away. Yeah, tea bags. Scottish tea bags. So I'm excited about that one. So, is there just one box? One box would... I believe there is just one box. Last is a long time. Yeah. Here's a close-up. Get all this packaging out. Scottish Blend is Jordan's absolute favorite. We have tried almost every single tea over here, and we just cannot find a tea here without, co co without spending a lot of money that tastes yeah. as strong and as good as tea from there does. So very excited about this. We do get English breakfast here, but let's face it, Scottish people, it's just not as good, is it? <laughs> okay. What is this? This is jam, I believe. Or jellies, as you call it here. Yes. So yeah, a lot of us would call this jam or jelly. Jelly is marmalade. This is one of our surprises, I think. Yum. Our next thing, which has also being cut open by the way by customs thank you very much you never give us an easy time and jordan asked for this so you can explain exactly what it is this is weetabix no i love weetabix for some reason don't ask me why it's kind of plain but i really really enjoy it and you need to say what it is i have i said it's weetabix but what is weetabix <laughs> it's uh grainy type cereal, I believe. He just expects uh, all of us to know what we is. It's got a good source of fiber and B vitamins, apparently. It says on the back. And it's the nation's favorite cereal. So, I got me some Weetabix. <laughs> this one's for you. Oh yes, okay, so here is something that I asked for, because Jordan doesn't really care for them. Smoky bacon crisp, as they would call them, chips. Um, I can't find any bacon flavored chips here anywhere. So if you know of some chips that are bacon flavored here in America, let me know. But until then, these are very good. Oh. Go ahead. Brownies. We love chocolate brownies cause we like to eat fatty foods <laughs> and these are more for Kaylee than they are for me because they've got hazelnuts in them and I'm not really a hazelnut fan, so 
These are more for you, Keely. That is perfectly fine with me. They're hazelnut chunks. Um, if you all don't know, Cadbury is kind of their, I feel like it's, we do get Cadbury here, but there it's kind of their version of Hershey because everything here is usually made by Hershey. A lot of our chocolate is, but there you're going to see Cadbury everywhere. So um, I think we have quite a lot of that to show you. Although we do get Hershey over there, just not in as vast quantities as you do here. So I'm going to go for the next ones. And again, these have been cut open by customs because why would you be holding bad stuff in custard creams? <laughs> you know, so there's custard creams. Thanks customs for ruining them. Can kind of explain what a custard cream is? It's just a sort of biscuit on the outside and a custard sort of cream on the inside, but it's sort of like a hardened cream, I think. The only thing that I can really think of in America to compare it to would be a golden Oreo. The, yes. sim the taste is kind of similar yeah. there. Just a different shape, so that's all. Just a different shape. Right, another one for you, Glee. Thanks okay. to shouting out the tail end here in St. Andrews. Foxy's Glacier Mints. So he said the tail end in St. Andrews, that is our absolutely number one favorite restaurant to eat at when we are in Scotland. It's nothing fancy, it's just good fish yes. and good atmosphere. Yeah. And I got introduced to these mints at that restaurant because after you get your bill, after you're done eating, they always give you a mint for each person at your table. Just in case your breath's gone a bit bad because of the food. So. And they're just very, 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 very good. Muy bueno, as you can say, Gailey. Yes, muy bueno. These ones are for me because why not? But I'm not going to eat them because they've been cut open by customs. <laughs> so we're just going to throw these over there. These oh are no. pot noodles. Let's open the bag up just a little bit so I can see it better. What? I can't believe they cut this open. Yep. Pot noodles, kind of like ramen noodles, but he's not going to get to eat them because that's open, cut open if you can yep. see. So thanks, shall I say who sent them? Yeah, sure. Thank you, UPS. <laughs> I'm saying something else under my breath right here, but thank you very much. Sad day. These, which have also been opened by customs, because we've got two packets, are chocolate digestives. They actually have not been opened by customs, I just thought they had been. But, but we have milk chocolate and we also have dark, dark chocolate. chocolate yeah. And I think we should take a little break and show them what you have to do with these. Oh, yes. You think? You want to be the guest and do it? Do you want to show them what you have to do? Sure, I'll do it. So. Chocolate digestive. I'll show you what one. Oh, oh broke. Hold this. on. A lot of these are probably going to be broke, unfortunately. You want to put those uh, down beside piece. you? Yes, I will. Okay, so here is a chocolate digestive biscuit. It's just a thin, kind of like what we would call a cookie with a layer of chocolate on the bottom. And what they're perfect for. And you some of you are going to think this is disgusting. You don't have to do this. We just prefer to do it. Yes. Tea? You dunk. You dunk. Chocolate up or chocolate down? It's your preference. I do chocolate up. Basically, what we're saying is when you have a Digestive, you got to dunk. You gotta dunk. You gotta dunk. All right, dunk. next. These are snack bars and they're all crushed. Sad. Sad day, but. I've actually never tried these. These are good. But he loves them and talks about them quite often, so yeah. I'm really excited to try it. It says it's a shortcake, and again, it is Cadbury covered in chocolate, so anything in covered, anything covered in chocolate has to be yeah. good, right? They're still going to taste good, just, you know, sometimes packages don't get taken care of. Right. Penguin biscuits. Now, I'm not sure if these came in a packet or not, or if they just came like this, but these are tasty. Again, they're just a chocolate biscuit with chocolate on the inside, and they're very good. They also have jokes on the back. Mm -hmm. They're very cheesy and corny, but I like that sort of thing. They're very good. How about you, Kaylee? You like these? Dunker or not a dunker? Completely up to you. Sometimes I dunk, sometimes I don't. Again, more Cadbury because that's what I asked for. Do you want to see this one, Kaylee? Yes, these are probably my favorite 
chocolate. Maybe ever. <laughs> no. Um, I love Cadbury, but these are called Twirl, and I don't know if you can see. I'll try to get it. You can There's see like her. ripples on the inside of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You should bite into one and show them. You want to? Why not? Okay. She only wants me to bite into it so she could finish it. That's all. Don't you? Maybe. You good? They're a little bar of chocolate. Oh, I don't even them. have to bite into it. It's just broken off. So, that's what it looks like. If you can see it, is it focusing, Kayla? Yeah, there we go. There we are. Super good. Mm. So great. Again. Another Cadbury item. Freddo's, which again, I don't think I've ever tried when I've been there, but again, if it's chocolate and it's Cadbury, I'm gonna love it, so. Just gonna double these ones up, Kaylee, because they're sure. both Maltesers. Okay, so Maltesers, um, the closest thing, I think we do actually get these in our stores sometimes. Mm -hmm. The closest thing, if you don't know what they are, is Whoppers. So Whoppers, just exact same thing. Not to be uh, confused um, with a Whopper from Burger King, folks. Right, the chocolate Whoppers. And then, um, his mom has also sent chocolate bars that have mal Maltesers inside of them. I don't think I've actually had one of those before. So. Um, this is called Sweet X. Um, I use these because they're sweeteners for your coffee or tea instead of sugar, zero calories, zero carbs, just pop them in, super easy. I even carry one in my purse sometimes in case I need it out in public. So just a sweetener. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. This next item, HP brown sauce, because why not? You need it. You wanna to try to explain what it tastes like or what it is? Um, I can't really describe what it tastes like. It just tastes good. All right, there you um, go, folks. Say tomato sauce is quite sweet. This is quite the opposite, I feel like. And the age old debate is bacon sandwich, brown sauce, or ketchup? or red sauce, as we call it there, or tomato yeah. ketchup, whatever you want. I'm surprised they didn't cut this bottle open. I know, I might have contained something. That's a joke, UPS. Want to do double? Sure. Club oranges. And Viscount, or Viscount biscuits. I've never had either of these, so you're gonna have to explain. I'm guessing this one's like a chocolate and orange flavor. Yep, it's got a chocolate sort of like, Filling, uh, no, an orange sort of filling in it, and this is a bicount which has a mint sort of filling in it. Pretty much the same chocolate bar, but different flavors. Um, this is Galaxy chocolate bars and Galaxy minstrels. Um, Galaxy chocolate is very, very, very rich. Um, his mom actually says that it burns her mouth a little bit. No, <laughs> uh, it burns the back of my throat as well yeah. sometimes. But... So I love to get the minstrels when we go to the movies over there. Minstrels. We sneak them in. But minstrels mixed in with your popcorn. Mm. So good. So good. These are my personal favorites. And it's easy to talk about flakes, again from Cadbury's, because they're pretty much just like twirls, or twirls. The, as you the call one them that there. we showed you that have the ripples yeah. on the inside? Except they don't have the chocolate on the outside. And they're so good. And they're called flakes because they flake everywhere. <laughs> These are Terry's chocolate orange minis. Um, chocolate oranges, they're just chocolates that taste like orange, really. They, they're like orange slices, but they're not actually orange, if that makes sense. So just orange flavored chocolate. Orange favorite goodness. flavored chocolate that looks like Not that kind of thing. Right. No. This had to be done. Bisto gravy granules. Some people make their own gravy. I'm not a good enough cook to do that, so <laughs> I like Bisto gravy granules. Um, um, we use this in, if you want to keep digging, I'll try to explain. We use this in one of our favorite dishes from their steak pie. Um, we use this to make the gravy and everyone in my family loves it and the canisters don't last very long. So we definitely need it a refill. They have sent us some Haribo gummy bears. Um, my little brother Wyatt is obsessed with gummy bears right now. So we asked if she could send some of these for him. 
Oh no. It's a travesty. It's a travesty. Okay. I so the next thing that we have are tea cakes, which Jordan absolutely loves. A lot of these products are just, just come from Britain in general, right? But yeah, these, these are, are Scottish, actually yeah. made in Scotland. It's kind of, I always think of them as kind of like a s'more because you have like a graham cracker crust almost with marshmallow on top and then it's covered in chocolate. He loves these. We were actually going to have these for our wedding at each person's table, mm -hmm. but they just weren't practical to bring in a plane because they got smashed. As you can see right as here. As you can see. So. They still taste good though. Yes. He still loves them and we're going to show you what we used at our wedding instead next. But again, that's just because people that board parcels on planes just throw them on. Yeah. No. So next, um, what I was just saying was instead of tea cakes, we had his family. His family came over for our wedding and they um, actually brought these over with them. They're called caramel wafer biscuits. These are also made in Scotland. It's a wafer with caramel in between each wafer and then surrounded in chocolate. People loved these. Like, I don't think anyone didn't like them. No, everybody so, loves these. It was, it was a hit. And we had one at each person's seat. And those are actually Scottish biscuits, just like the, uh, um, what was the one we just showed? The tea cake. Like the tea cake, <laughs> yes. Now, unfortunately, these are smashed again. But once you spend eight hours in a very warm truck and plane and everything else, they get like that. But you want to kind of explain what they are? They're called Aero because... The Aero's because it's sort of like a bubbly chocolate. You bite into it and it's sort of like airy in there, sort of. They melt in your mouth. Super good. So these, we have original and then we have mint. These ones are peppermint, yep. And these are originals. Very good. Very good. And then I have something up here. Um, I've never tried these, so you might have to explain this. Swizzles <laughs> Love Tarts. They look like um, sweet tarts. They are. They're just love hearts. If you had a crush on a girl at school, you would probably give them one of these that says, I adore you on it or something. They're very sour. They're all right. I've not had them since I was about 13, so I'm interested, I'm interested really. All right. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I think we can finally see Skittles. Which we do get, get over Skittles here, here. <laughs> but we love Skittles, so we'll definitely take them. Galaxy Dark Chocolate, which is more for her than it is for me. Yeah, I don't he really doesn't like, like dark, dark chocolate. chocolate so. I think it's delicious. Um, it also has roasted hazelnut, and this is actually a new. I think it's a limited edition chocolate that they've released over there that his mom sent to me, and. You can tell it's been melted, but it'll still taste great. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you live 4,000 miles away, things get melted, just like these next two items. Dairy milks. Well, this one's a dairy milk, this one's a caramel. And we do actually get versions of these here. I think we still call ours dairy milk, just the plain milk chocolate, but then the caramel or caramel, however you want to say it, it's caramel. we call caramellos or caramellos. And they're not as good. He doesn't think they taste the same. I do. I don't know. Just almost finished. We got, again. Cadbury Fingers, which is just um, like a tiny little um, biscuit dipped in chocolate. Dunk. You dunk these? I've never I had these. I wouldn't personally, no. Okay. They taste just like snack bars in my opinion, but they're just little fingers. And these are hand baked in Aberdeenshire, which is in Scotland, and it's shortbread. We both so love shortbread. Shortbread actually made in Scotland, which I think you do get here because you get walkers, don't you, over here? Mm -hmm. But I love shortbread, any shortbread's good. It, Kaylee, apart from this that we've got, which I don't know what it is, it says my brother's name on it. Oh. So this is not a treat, this is our surprise. But we'll show it in this video anyway. So what's on top? Oh, oh that's cute. Us Eden. This is like a plaque with the picture of us at McDonald's after we got married. Anyways, here's the picture. Super cute. And we love it. And then underneath the picture oh. is a, like a photo box, I think. It's a handmade box. I that says like. memories. Mm, I like that. And it lot. says Kaylee and Jordan 
the 28th of married, December yeah. 2019. They do write their dates like that over there if you didn't know. Day first, month, and then the year. Because that's the way it should be. And then we've got one more little surprise. Oh, I wonder what this is. Shall I open it? It's actually tied on there with a bow. It came off quite nicely. Oh, it's just little keys. Key rings for us. It's really cute. Cool. Hey guys, sorry about that. Our battery died and our camera stopped rolling. So we're back and we did make it through our box. So we hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are hoping to make more videos. So if you have any suggestions for us, please let us know. And if you would like to win a little goodie bag, a little selection bag of things we've got in the box, then just like and comment on the video. We'll see if we can get it to you. All right. Thank you everyone for watching and we will see you next time. Bye guys.